Have you ever had the question, okay, now I wanna crochet, what tools do I need? Well, I'm here to share that with you today. I started out with my hooks. Now you can go to uh, Walmart, you can go to you know Joann's, Michael's, Hobby Lobby, any craft store should have uh, crochet hooks. I wanted to get a whole bunch of different sizes at once and so I went to Amazon. The set that I bought had multiple sizes and the reason why I liked this set is that the handles on them, if you can see, have a little squish on them. So they're a little bit more comfortable than just your standard metal hooks. They're pretty inexpensive. I know that crochet hooks can get super expensive. So, um, and this way when you have a set, you don't have to go buy individually the crochet hooks, but you also figure out which crochet hooks that you regularly like to use because there's multiple sizes. And on your patterns, if you want to make a crochet blanket or a crochet amigurumi, they will usually tell you what size crochet hook that you need to use. And so having multiple, and then if you have a pattern that tells you the size crochet hook and you use a different yarn and you have a little bit more experience, you would change your hook size as well. So. Um, but I honestly would start out with just a set if you're just a beginner so that you're not spending a whole bunch of money. Um, it's more budget friendly that way. Okay, now the second thing, I really like this yarn. And I have, I tried to find one that wasn't bound yet, but this is, I love this yarn by Hobby Lobby. This is probably my favorite because they have so many colors, but if you can start out with a good yarn that feels good in your hands, this is this is a softer yarn. I don't like the, the Red Hearts Super Saver because it's scratchy and kind of uncomfortable in your hands. And you want to start out with, with good things, and this is pretty inexpensive. Hobby Lobby has sales on their yarn like every other week, like literally every other week. So 30% off would be fantastic for this yarn. We've got hooks and we've got yarn. You also want a good pair of scissors. Now, I love these because they have that sharp tip, and that makes it so that they can you know, if you're doing amigurumi off your yarn and then poke it back in your project, this also helps when you are crocheting a blanket or anything like that, that you can snip it pretty close and it cuts pretty clean. The next thing that I really like and uh, find helpful is a, I think they're called darning needles, but I don't know if you can see if that'll focus on there. It kind of has a curve to it and it's a little bit thicker. And you can find these at Joann, you can find these at Michael's, you can find these um, anywhere. But I bought, I just recently bought a set that came with this little container so that they're all contained, which is really nice. It has like a little stopper because I tend to misplace things. Having a home for them makes sense. Speaking of which, so having a bag where all your hooks are contained is really nice. So then they have a home and then you don't have to buy another one, which that would be a pain. Funny story, the other day I was crocheting and I was sitting in the chair back here crocheting and I lost my hook. I couldn't find it anywhere. A lot of times it'll fall down the side and then it ends up underneath the seat. Well, I went digging underneath the seat and looking, 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 and I could not find it. So finally I grabbed my husband. I'm like, can you please, you know, fresh eyes sometimes can see things that you can't see. So. He came in here and he looked and apparently the hook was, he was shining light in there and he saw it like on the edge of a little corner there and so he found it for me and I really appreciate that. I talked so. about that big bag to hold your crochet hooks in. You can also have a little travel pack. So this is actually a sandwich bag that I got off of Amazon again. This came in a pack of two. I like it because it's the perfect size to take with me and I just stick all of my stuff. So this travels with me like all the time. Another tool that I use often is this funny looking thing is actually a safety eye setter. If you're setting safety eyes with amigurumi, this is nice, it kind of stays your fingers. It's like a metal tip on the end and it's hollow and you just kind of push it on. This just saves your fingernails and stuff like that. So this was actually really helpful because my nails right now are still really flimsy from all the medicine and the chemo that I had. So this helps with setting me. Instead of asking my husband to help me put the backs on the eyes, I have this little tool. But these are, and you'll see me in videos using these. So these are compression gloves. They don't look like much of anything. So I'll, I'll slide it on so you can see what it looks like. And I just recently figured out how to put it on the right way so it actually fits. So it fits on my hand like that and the lines go on the back 
learn from me. The lines go on the back. I like these. There are a bunch of different brands. Other ones you can get them for like uh, carpal tunnel. I think that's kind of the same thing. But you don't have to get these, but these are nice to have because you can get tired when you're crocheting. So this helps your hands from getting tired. I, a couple other tools that I really like are one of these measuring tapes. I use this when I'm making blankets to kind of tell how big the blanket's going to be. I'm numbers challenge. I learn from seeing than just from reading. I like this. I like this one because it... Okay. I love these little jobbies. So these are harder to see. I wonder if you could... I hold it like this. It's just... It's basically a safety pin. It's just a plastic safety pin. But these are great. Say you're crocheting along a blanket and you have to go do something else. You just clip it in there and it saves your stitch so that you don't get it all pulled out. Or if you're crocheting amigurumi and want to know where you started, you can slip this in there and that gives you the round so that your counts will be okay. So the last thing I wanted to talk about was this light. So this is rechargeable and it's adjustable. You can do it up. So if you're crocheting and it's a dark area, cause you want a really well lit area when you're crocheting so you don't strain your eyes. Just recently on a road trip, having this, this neck light was really nice to have so that I could see the stitches in it. It has three different settings. There's like a white setting, a yellow setting, and then another setting and then you can do brightness up. This is super handy. So to start out with crochet, you don't have to have everything. So the basic things would be a hook, some scissors, a hooked needle, and these safety pins. You can actually use a regular safety pin if you don't have the budget for that. These things are the essential, everything else. Oh, and obviously you want some good yarn. So those are the first things that I suggest for crochet. The other stuff, you know, icing on the cake. And I added to my crochet stash of goodies as I went. I didn't get everything at once. Those are the things that I suggest. If you have any questions, I will do my best to answer those. And hey, thanks so much for tuning in. Until next time, bye-bye.